Or if a person asks the question um, about how can a good God allow evil, I ask him, well, what do you mean by evil? It's an interesting, see, all I'm doing is asking him a question. Most people haven't thought it through that far. What do you mean by evil? Because, you see, if there's, if there's no God, then it means that there's no such thing as good and evil. It's just you were culture, culturally conditioned to believe that way, or maybe it's an instinct. But there's no real good and evil. You see, my point is that when we appeal to something evil, we're appealing to an absolute for good. So if you just ask them a simple question along those lines, I think it very, it's very, very helpful. I can, I, I can turn a person who doesn't believe in anything that's uh, an absolute standard for good, I can turn him into, uh, into an, a person who does a, a, what is called a relativist, a moral relativist, can turn him into a moral absolutist in one simple way. I was telling this uh, to Joe in the interview. All I have to do is get in front of him in line. If there's a long line, all I have to do is stand in front, just walk up there and stand in front and just kind of watch the fun. Because of course what will happen is the, guy, the people in the line, what will they do? Who do you think you are? What are you doing? The, the line begins back there. I say, hey, I, I basically believe in the survival of the fittest. You see, might makes right. You have a problem with that? You see the problem? The, they won't say, well, I'm angry because I'm just culturally conditioned to believe that. No, they know it was wrong, you see. Science, by the way, has become a powerful uh, ally of the, of the, of the Christian worldview.